Yep, now he's running to the right. He stopped broadside. Trying to beat the snow on the Kaibab. Uh, looks like it's just getting going. So hopefully it won't be too bad on the road. Good time, said to the sheep hunt. I'm almost to the top. It's just starting to snow, not sticking yet, which is a good thing. Glad I left when I did. Okay, I just got to camp. Getting ready for my sheep hunt. Everything's good, just like we left it. I pulled one quad out already. Got the generator. But I had three quads in the wall tent. That's a good storage place for three quads. All the spare tires and everything else we need. We got wood. I have not put up the wall of the uh, wood stove yet, but I'll put the wood stove up. It's only 50 degrees, so maybe we don't even need it. Anyway, a relief to have camp good after six days. Life is good. Scout tomorrow, hunt the next day. Today's the day I've been waiting for. Been waiting 50 years for hunt sheep and it's finally here. Yep, oh. finally here. So opening morning, first day? First day. Um, we're gonna go clear these draws and canyons, hopefully we run into the sheep we're looking for. synopsis for day one well it was pretty light on sheep we got skunked that's unbelievable in my number one spot skunked that's not good I guess we plan B go to plan B tomorrow sheep. We saw two bands of sheep. We saw six sheep this morning, second morning. They're way up high. But close to that snow, huh? Yep. All the way in the snow, yeah. So we're gonna check the river bottom. <laughs> go to the opposite direction. See what happens. Alright, cool. So we're tucked away down this hill, but you can see we got 500 foot drop off and we're all set up out of the wind. What a beautiful day. And the coolest thing is we've got sheep all over down here below us. We just walk up that wash and Right down there is where we've been glassing. Two feet from the edge of nothing. 
There's James. See, I, yeah. that's proof he's here. Bobby, give me a look. A little checking it out. We're all here. Out of the wind on the same perch. 500 feet down. Looking at sheep. Nothing bad. All right, we're going for a little walk about here. Gonna leave our perch. Walk this spine out to that point out there. Sheep side all over here. Crack. A little crack here, straight down. Oh, I know, I just can't get enough of this. Look here. Watch your step. All kinds of sheep trails down there. We I think we may have just found my wrong. ram in a gnarly spot. I don't know how we'd go up to get him, but we have finally found a good ram, and there's two of them together. First ram that we've seen on the hunt that is uh, not with use. He, he's a good one. Yeah, he's a good one. Good. But show him where it is, dude. I mean, that's... If they come all the way down that chute... Yeah. That, yeah. It, we'll never see them until they hit that rock slide. I agree. We need to get over there to the right and relocate them. I don't okay, know. Okay, Anthony. Well, it's early. Should we roll? Yeah, yeah. Let's, I mean, let me look at my eye. Burning daylight. I think we check for a road and make sure we're not doing something stupid by hiking up that mountain. See if there's a. Put the tools to work here. Let's see if there's a chance. Of Make sure I'm on airplane mode. I'm gonna have to save my. Well, now look at this. That trail right there says it goes all the way to the top. Oh my, that'd be sweet. It's like a and, foot trail. And that that road. Okay, so let's kind of figure out where we think they are. Good stuff. Sweet. Fun. Well, okay, they're below. They're below the highest peak. Oh no, that peak is that peak. Okay, come, come look at this. You all right. <laughs> See that sheep dot? Yeah. That that highest peak is that one. Okay. So that sheep dot is about where they are. And what's that sheep dot? Where someone told you about? That'd oh. be you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there should be sheep up there. I just never saw them until today. I know, it's almost surreal. We're making our first stock on a, on a good ram. Of course, it's a gnarly area where you, we'll, we'll flip around here and show you, but I don't know, man. We're 1,200 yards away from where we last saw them, so. We're gonna to try to get, what, I don't know, a thousand foot elevation gain and see if we can uh, get up to where the sheep is. We, we've seen sheep in a whole lot worse spots this week. Yeah. Right? So this is really doable. That's uh, where we, they disappeared behind those two rock outcroppings there. Let's see if we can. That's 1,200 yards, but. We're gonna stay on this side, and so, and. Uh, yeah. A little iffy to be able to shoot across, but we're 1,200 yards here, so um, and they're moving down. So hopefully they yeah. just keep moving down. We got right. spotters where they're supposed to be. James and Bob are back spotting. We'll try to make it. Try to make it happen. Guess what I forgot? Rifle. Right. 
gun. <laughs> we just gonna we just gonna go up and wrestle him to the ground. We got my this gun. is catch and release. <laughs> oh, so jacked up. We got my dang gun. I mentioned that to you. I said, hey, don't forget well, your gun. Luckily, it's, luckily it's only 50 yards back. <laughs> We got the three quads here and the ram is right up in there. He's definitely bigger than a fist. He's more like a freaking volleyball. No, he is. He's, yeah, I agree. Oh, I got a frontal. I got a, just got a frontal. He's wide. I got my doubler on too, by the way. Oh, you do? Yeah. He's not real heavy down low. No, but he's um, not loud. He makes up in length where he lasts a mass. Not much, you know, it ain't going to make up enough, but he's a shooter, right? Yeah, he's a shooter. Late in the game, we're only got one more day. Yeah, I'm going to think we're going to, I think I'm going to smack that round. Are you videoing that? Yep. Sweet. Yep. We just bent it down. That's the side that we've been looking at. I wish you had bent it down the other side. The problem is he's looking exactly the way we want to come in. Yeah. Dude, I, I think if we get, I think if we get to where we were yesterday, you could probably kill him. Yeah, that's that's cut the distance in half. All right, we're 1,200 yards away from this sheep. He's got good length. Uh, it doesn't look overly heavy, but we've only got one more day after this, so I think we're going to, and he's in a stockable position, I think we can get within four or 500 yards of him, so we're going we're gonna to head that way, see if we can kill him. He's bedded down right now, waiting for us, so... time in the world. He's going to the right? Yeah, it was just barely missed him. He's still there, dude. Hi. Hi. Really? Yeah, now he's running to the right. He stopped broadside. Don't shoot the U, he's behind a bush. Shoot him, Kevin. His ass is to us. 
He's facing left. He's quite a ways to the right. You might not be able to see him, dude. Yeah, you can't see him from where you're at, dude. They're, uh, see the bushes in the hill and right in front of you? Take your time. He's moving to the left a little bit. He's calm. No, stay right there. There he is, Ken. No. Oh, he'll move to the left. The ewes are feeding again. They're chilling. Yeah, that bush is... They're just above that bush in your way, Kevin. Just uh, give them a minute. He laid down. He laid down. I can see his horns. Oh, his head's still there. Okay, okay. He's, uh... Is he... Up uh, coherent? Yeah, he's 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 not moving his head. That's for sure. Yep. Killed a ram! <laughs> there go the ewes. I had to hit him that first shot because I, I, I held straight on to the hunter. That's where I was the first shot. I, I was through the viewfinder in the camera. I, I didn't see it. I apologize. No, no, no. You did, dude. But yeah, he's death kicking. He ain't getting up. He's anchored, brother. He's a dandy. Congrats, buddy. Right. Yeah. Nice shot. What do you think of that, buddy? Huh? Well, third shot's the charm. Hey, dude. <laughs> I know I hit him. Well, well, that's what he had gone down for, right? Congratulations. I, think I hit him the first shot. The second may have been a little iffy. But. Good job. Yeah. Now, how the crap do we get to the nest? We might just go up from here. I don't know. I might go pick, pick a peek for you. But he's done. Oh, his, sure. head, his head's still. You want to look at the binos? Oh, okay. Make sure he's down. I mean. His head's horizontal now, buddy. He's done. He's done moving. He hasn't kicked in five seconds. It was 450, 420 compensated. 420 compensated. I put the 400 right on him. He's done. Ram down. That's awesome. Why are you FaceTiming me? I killed my ram. Hi, Deborah. Are you excited? Is that oh. a good one? Look at that. Huh. Hi. Hi. Got it done. Why are you crying? It's pretty awesome. <laughs> There's no crying in baseball. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Man, we're, I don't know, we're 400 yards away from, we're probably, uh, two hours to get to him but anyway we just killed him so we'll be home tomorrow yeah. hey Trav wish you were here man um, wish you were here huh hey that's exciting I love you thanks for letting me thanks for letting me do this I know there's a lot of things going on at home but uh, um, I'll call I'm gonna call Blake and and uh, John um, we'll be, what time is it? One th we'll be probably all night getting them out. So, yep. <laughs> it's over. It was a good experience. Yeah. Great experience. Oh, awesome. Yep. All right. Love you. Good job. See you guys. Okay, See you. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Is it a no brainer? Like you were absolutely shooting. Oh, absolutely. One? Absolutely. As soon as I saw him, he was, I don't know, a mile away and was like, let's go, let's go kill that ram. Absolutely. Yep. So we'll be all night getting him off here. I'm sure. So. Anyway, you see it, Jake. All right, cool. Hey, thanks for the call. Love you, man. Wish you were here. Yeah, man. See ya. Bye. Ram down, buddy. Ram down. Really? Yep. Yep. We got within uh, 450 yards. Shot three times. I think I hit him twice. He laid down. 
uh, after the first two shots and then we watched him, watched him, watched him. I was like, I can't believe he's laying down without a bullet in him and then uh, shot him laying down. So that, that'll be the kill shot we show everybody, the one shot kill. <laughs> yeah, buddy. <laughs> uh, that's cool. Man. Yep, yep. Game over. It'll be, uh, uh, we're probably a couple hours away from putting our hands on him. So we're in a hole and we got to go all the way around a hole. So um, anyway, bro, it's over. Wish you were here, man. Dang it. I'll shoot well, you. I guess I'll take off vacation for next week. Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll shoot you pictures when we get to him. Dude, that's cool. How, uh, is he broken at all? No, he's, he's clean, clean, long. Yeah. The dude, when I saw him a mile and a half away with one day left, and who knows if anybody's going to be able to come back, I mean, there was no question about my that sucker was going down, so. <laughs> That's exactly what James said. He's like, dude, he's like, Kevin's shooting this ram. Yeah. He's, he's like, there ain't a doubt in my mind. I was like, really? Yeah. He's like, dude. He's like, whenever he sees this ram, he's shooting him. I'm like, really? It's a, dude, it's a good. That was hilarious. It's a good ram. It's a really good ram. Yeah, and old James. James found him. That was sweet. And uh, Ryan running camera. And... Dude, that's cool, man. All right, man. He's wide, huh? He's pretty. He's pretty. Flares out. You guys can send cool him a ref. picture, probably. I did. Oh. Oh, he sent oh, you. I got a pile of questions. You sent yeah, you. No, I saw it. That's I the one. I saw the side profile. I didn't see the face on. Oh, uh, we, got, we got piles of pictures. Later. Later. I'm trying to make it to my ram before dark. And we just came around this cliff you see the road coming out of here and you can all fours there's James all fours we're hoping that we can go down that hog back right there we got an hour before dark Yes, I'm shaky as heck, but we'll go for it. <sighs> Woo! Don't fall, buddy. Look at that, dude. That is one. That's one nice one. That thing's beautiful. That's awesome. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna spend the night with him. <laughs> oh, guys, thanks for your help, man. Holy cow! Good job, Kevin. He's a beaut. Uh, thanks, guys. You're welcome. Look at that, man. He's a trophy, huh? He's got the look we want. He's beautiful. Uh, that's gonna cost you a six pack, my friend. Whew. Good job, Kevin. That's beautiful. Pretty, pretty, pretty rare. We came from that skyline where the sentry plan is, traversed our way through this mess, and are almost into safe travels. There's Ryan and Kevin. I went ahead to scout out the trail. It's been an adventure. The sheep barely fits in the front seat, Ben. Yeah. It's so wide. Check that out. We are here for breakfast. Let's go do it. Yep. 
That's him, man. Yep. What do you think? Nice. Solid. Solid, dude. Yeah. yeah. Dude, they're like concrete, man. They are seriously really solid. It's like they got rock on their head. Yep. Yeah, that's not bad. It's not curled enough, son. Not curled enough. Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, and the rest of shot the first one they saw. Yeah. <laughs> Did you put him up to this? Boy, man. I paid him. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, after hunting 15 days, or what it was, 14 days, it was over. We were oh, we were spent. We were lucky to get him off the mountain. They're solid, though. They're not decayed. Like most of the old ones are. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Who's that? That's Ryan. That's right. Oh, you made it back alive, huh? Yeah, he did. That was we were lucky to get him home. <laughs> the facing your property. Yeah, you know how much time and effort I put into that ram and you and I was so careful but we'll let you getting him off the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> we'll let you put the hole in. So. Yeah, but that, that's what that, that is all about, is just uh, your proof of uh, legality on mm -hmm. this. This was an amazing adventure for me. This was a once-in-a-lifetime sheep hunt, probably the only sheep hunt that I'll ever do in my life unless I get lucky uh, and draw another tag. I certainly fell in love with sheep hunting in this amazing country that they call home. What a fun, fun hunt here in Arizona, on the Strip, in the place that I've always uh, wanted to hunt sheep. I did have 27 points, but that didn't assure me to ever draw a tag in my lifetime. Certainly grateful to be able to have the opportunity to hunt sheep in my home state, of Arizona. I know there's a lot of people every year that put in for sheep that never have an opportunity to hunt, so certainly grateful for my opportunity to hunt in my home state. You know, I always go uh, hunting by myself, or whether it's elk or deer or antelope, but after my first scouting trip, I knew right away that this was not a hunt that I could do by myself. It was great to have my long-term hunting buddy uh, Bob Downing, uh, go with me on my scouting trips uh, and then also uh, on the hunt. In 2014, I got to go on Bob's Arizona sheep hunt in Unit 22. That was a great hunt. We have enjoyed some great hunts over the years. When I drew, James S. Uh, told me he would go on the hunt whenever I was going. He had killed a ram two years prior in the same unit. He was a great help. He was anxious and willing to go whenever I was going to go, which was great to always have somebody along with me on this hunt. To have Anthony Spencer on the hunt with me, he came all the way from Idaho knowing what a special hunt this was and knowing that he's likely to never have a sheep hunt himself. He wanted to come and enjoy this hunt. It was great to have Anthony along with us. Ben Morris drove all night to get to camp uh, as we were getting up opening day. It was great to have Ben with us uh, on the hunt. On my second trip, I was short on people. It was great to have my brother-in-law, Ryan Hancock, go with us uh, to be able to run the camera and then also provide comic relief uh, during the hunt. Like most hunters, I have an amazing wife uh, that allows me to do uh, all these things. I'd like to thank her for always her support. We spent another Thanksgiving away from family, getting set up for camp. A big thank you for all the, my family that helped me set up camp over Thanksgiving and uh, spend time scouting and just enjoying the beautiful area that I got to hunt sheep in. One last clip from Thanksgiving weekend. Can you see any deer in those glasses of yours? Not yet. Oh. Wonder where they are. <laughs>